Hi lovelies, Pam here. Uh, sadly, really scary subject matter. Sorry, not trying to scare you all. This is dead set serious. I have some pretty disturbing facts to share. Uh, the survival of the human species. So what on earth am I talking about? Okay, uh, when I first started in private practice 26 years ago, the biggest issue that I seem to deal with and continue to uh, is teaching people how to maintain their blood sugar levels. Type 2 diabetes has become a global epidemic. Uh, I talk to any doctor and this is the biggest problem that they have. And interestingly, the information that I've learned about teaching people people to stabilize their hormones and their blood sugar levels is really connected to the subject matter of, of our very survival. And it's not what you think. So when I was a student nurse in 1975, the only diabetics that I ever saw were really naughty elderly men. Now we're talking about type two diabetes here, not type one. So now, I frequently see 10 and 11 year olds coming in with insulin resistance. I mean, how is this possible that we've gone from a disease that took 70 and 80 years to develop to one that occurs in just 10 years? So it's, the answer is that it's a lifestyle disease. It's related to our diet and how much exercise we do, how we think, how we love, all these things. We're just sliding downhill there so interestingly the hormone disruption that creates type 2 diabetes is also part of what's driving what I want to discuss today everybody has way too much estrogen in their bodies since 1973 there's been a reduction of sperm levels like more than 50 percent actually Man boobs are increasing. Elderly and young men are getting them. And more concerning is that baby boys are taking much longer for their sexual organs to develop. Little girls, in 1900s, the average age of entry into puberty was 14 years and eight months. In 2019, it is now eight years of age and going down. Little kids do not have the frontal lobe development in their brains to cope with fluctuating hormones. There is a massive amount of data proving that an early entry into puberty results in adults that have an increase in risk-taking behaviour and drug abuse. No one wants a child to go into puberty too early. Estrogen dominance disorders in women, creating fibroids, polycystic ovarian disease and endometriosis. And all of these things reduces a female's fertility. Breast cancer in Australia, we have the highest survival rates in the world of breast cancer. But the number of women being diagnosed is still increasing. So what's going on here? Why, why are we having all these problems with our hormones? The answer is the chemical soup we are living in. Microplastics and hormone disrupting chemicals. So when you reduce somebody's insulin resistance and help them with the um, losing weight with the Slenderize program, what happens is that you also reduce estrogen dominance. By reducing the amount of fatty tissue that holds all these chemicals, you're reducing the problem. Remember that estrogen is designed to create growth. And so all these chemicals are drawn to the fat cells. And when you break down those fat cells with the Slenderize program, you're going to reduce estrogen dominance by reducing the excess tissue that is creating the extra estrogen. It's also really, really important when you are using the Slenderize program that you also take Restorex. 
uh, a lot of these chemicals are stored in the fat cells because the kidneys just will not filter them. They know they're dangerous and they just will not let them through. And so the liver has got no choice but to dump them into these fat cells. Now, when you're breaking the fat cells down, it goes back into circulation and you're going to make people feel quite ill if you don't support the kidneys in releasing some of these toxins. It's a fabulous combination. And what happens is that you don't get any rebound weight gain as well. So what's causing this problem? Let's go right to back to the very beginning. I always like to just keep looking, looking, looking for the cause of it. I don't ever like to mask stuff. The answer is microplastics and all the hormone disrupting chemicals that are in our environment now. So let's look at where they come from. Water bottles. Okay, my little face is in the way. Pet water bottles. So Look over here, recycling number one. They told us that these bottles were safe, but that is not true. We know now from these little estrogen sensitive snails that if you store something in a pet water bottle, it will leach an endocrine disrupting hormone or chemical, hormone disrupting chemical. Okay, those little snails grew twice as many eggs as the snails that were stored in just glass bottles of water. We also know that thousands of microplastic particles are being released into the contents of the water bottle and it's coming from the cap. 95% of these particles are small enough to get into our blood. And each tiny particle is potentially going to act like estrogen. If you drink bottled water, you are consuming a teaspoon of microplastics every week. That is enough to make a credit card. This is a solution, the Purity Water Filter. It's a mobile filter. There are others out there, but I think this is the best one available. It's gonna not just filter all of those chemicals and microplastics, but it's gonna take viruses and bacterias and funguses and anything nasty and just leave you with H2O and your essential minerals. And the best thing about this is that you can take it anywhere on the planet with you. These are the hormone disrupting chemicals in our environment and they come from personal care. So women are more at risk of these chemicals than um, men because they use 10 times more uh, personal care than men do every day. So ladies, if you're suffering from any of these uh, hormone disorders or estrogen dominant disorders, and you find that the Slender Eyes program is giving you some relief from your symptoms, then you need to take one step back further and have a look at what it is that caused the problem in the first place, okay? And it's your personal care. So, you need to make sure that you are not putting any of these disrupting chemicals back into your body again. And the Revive range is certainly going to do that. So we've got a shampoo, a conditioner and a body wash, plus a fantastic toothpaste. And none of these things are going to drive any estrogen dominance whatsoever. If you want to keep your skin safe and stop it from being irritated, if you've got problems with skin reactions, you need to look at your personal care. There's something that is actually triggering that problem in the first place. And this stuff is safe enough to soak a newborn baby in it. There's absolutely nothing in it. It doesn't use any aggressive sulfates to make the foam. It's a beautiful sugar-based system. Uh, and, you know, like I have so much confidence in this range. And, and your toothpaste, there is a very common toothpaste out there that everybody uses that contains this chemical and it completely and absolutely blocks your thyroid gland. That is the gland that controls your energy or your basic metabolic rate. 
uh, and it's all caught up in this whole problem of our hormones being disturbed. So have a look at the revived toothpaste. Um, it's quite difficult to get a good toothpaste and I just love this one. So I like to think that the manufacturers didn't know what they were doing, that they just didn't understand. I don't want to think that they've been lying to us all these years, but you know the truth now, and it's really important that we all share this information. Thanks so much for your time.